Hey everybody, so I want to talk about something from my experience. So having worked on Lit for a while, there's a question that I keep hearing that I don't think we've really fully answered. Where do I put my async work in Lit? Like fetching data from a server, for example. So hey everybody, I'm Elliot. I'm here to propose an answer to that question. Let's talk about task. But first, what does task do? In short, Lit Labs task makes your async code faster to write and more focused. Let's go into an example where you might need it. Probably the most common one that you might be familiar with is fetch. It fetches from the web. It's easy, but handling the edge cases can be just like a little bit hard. So let's build an app that handles fetches comprehensively, an app that does the following. It does the fetch, it updates the property, it updates reactive properties with the result, it redoes the fetch when specific properties change, keeps track of the current request state, handles errors, handles race conditions, and it renders different things based off the current state of that fetch. So I know it's a lot of requirements, but this handles almost everything you would basically need around a fetch. So we're going to create something called Taskit. So given a subreddit that is the a topic on the site Reddit, this component will fetch the Reddit API, render the first page of photos in nice cards, and it can also show a loading spinner when loading the data and handle error cases gracefully. So let's see how this is done without task. Uh, just a heads up, this is going to go a bit fast, and I'm going to implement it in the order that you logically would. But really, I want you to pay attention to the code flow and how you move around. So think of the right-hand side as your mental position, and the left-hand side as your physical position, like where you're actually typing in the code. All right, let's go. First, you create the method that fetches, call the fetch every time the subreddit changes, save the subreddit as a reactive property, save with the fetch results and the fetch status. Now we actually do the fetch. Now, now you need to handle race conditions with the dirty bit, dirty bit checking, parse the output. Oops, this might throw an error, so put wrap and try catch. On success, format your data and set the status to complete. On error, clear the data and set the status to error. Okay, so now the data's hooked up to the fetch, right? We're done, right? Nope, now we actually gotta render it. First, create a switch based on the status, render your error case, render the cards with the data on the complete case, render the loading spinner on the initial and the pending cases. Whew. Are we done? Yeah, okay, yeah, we're done. Um, so this is the overview of doing comprehensive async task handling today without any helpers. You store the state and the result as reactive properties. You perform the async task every time subreddit changes. Make a dirty bit to debunk slow task, aka handle race conditions. Keep track of current request date. Do your task. Handle errors. Render based off the state. Okay, so back to the initial question: Where the heck do I put my async work in lit? Well, today we're suggesting maybe not this. Like it's doable in lit without helpers, but it's a lot to keep track of. It's a lot to get right, and it's just a lot all at once. You're having to do a bunch of mental shifts from concept to concept while also jumping all around the code. So one option we're proposing, not necessarily the option is, how about Lit Labs task? So remember the comprehensive requirements we had for our app that we were building? Well, surprise, it's actually what Lit Labs task does. So task does the following. It does async work. It updates a reactive controller with the result it redoes the async work whenever specific properties change, keeps track of the current request date, it handles errors, it handles race conditions, and it renders different things based off the current state of your async work. So let's migrate the starter example to task for an, just for an example. So here's the before and after code. Let's walk through it. First, handling raise conditions in your task. So when you invoke several async tasks after each other, they may not necessarily resolve in the same order, so you need to keep track of what is the latest task. Task just does this for you. It makes sure you only render the last invoked task. Task keeps track of the current initial, uh, the current status, initial, pending, complete, and error. Task also handles error checking for you. So what are you left with? Well, the code you actually care about, the task itself without any of the bookkeeping. Next, we place this task into the task controller. Let's walk through it. You instantiate it. It's a reactive controller, so you pass it the reactive controller host, the async task itself, and a function that returns 
a list of reactive properties that will trigger the task whenever any one of them changes. Let's talk about that just for a bit. Uh, so this reactive property array is equivalent to checking if the given properties have changed since the last update. So we don't have to keep track of that anymore. Next, the render. It's largely the same here, but just a tiny bit simpler. The task instance has a render method on it. You pass it a function to render the initial depending states, error cases, and when it's complete, it will pass the result of your task to a function that you provide. In this case, we just render all the cards. So how does it look? Well, it looks largely the same. You have subreddits changing, cards with images and links rendering, and a progress circle in between. So now you may be asking, what's the difference? Why should I care? So line difference-wise, you go down from about 60 lines down to 39. And your code is much more focused on the tasks that you have at hand, no bookkeeping. And remember the steps that we had to take to build our app? Task takes you down to this. You do the task. And you, then you just render your states. There's a lot fewer steps to accidentally forget or mess up. Again, LitLab's task makes your async code faster to write, more focused, and task is more than just fetch. You can do almost any async work you want to do. So for example, you can request media permissions. Again, let's step through this. You instantiate, you pass it the task. In this case, we ask the navigator for the webcam. And then here we have turned off the auto run feature. This is what I call manual mode, uh, where the task will run on property change. This is useful really only when you want to run a task once or simply want to have a bit more control about for when it runs. For example, like you don't want to ask for a video permissions before the user has even interacted with the page because then it just won't ask for them. So now let's take a look at the render. On the initial state, we just show a button and manually run the task with the tasks run method. Then on complete, simply pass the camera stream to the video tag source object. And then if they reject the permissions, just display an error. So how does this one look? So we have the initial button rendering right there. And then if you click, you run the task on pending, show the spinner. And in this case, we'll reject the permissions, which will throw an error and render the error state. All right, let's reset permissions and try again. So you click the button, run the task, show the spinner, and let's accept. Success, we have a live stream. Welcome everybody. <laughs> uh, so let's go over the concepts of task one more time. You write it, you render it, and in the case of manual mode, you run it. So the status of task is that it's close to GA. Uh, the feedback, uh, what we're looking for is that it needs community feedback. It's a, simple, it's a simple implementation, so it's usable in prod. We don't really expect any bugs. And the API may have some breaking changes in the future. The feedback that we're looking for in particular is, does it need more features? Does this fit your real world use case? And do you even need this? So install it and give it a try. I'm Elliot.